that was about here. Okay? If we are at this distance, you come to hit me. Now these moves work very well. I have a little bit of space when he comes in to settle my elbow down. And this fulcrum can now drop his hand. If we are very close, I don't have the fulcrum, I'm more likely to do this. Okay? So this is my first suggestion for when you do G-cell, is do it just outside of range. Okay. So in this way, if both of you are being friendly and trying to develop your structure, your position, your sensitivity, then nobody will get hit. Because you will become very aware of your greed. Or at least it will require me to step in with my whole body. Make sense? Okay. The second thing is um, the, the attribute training and the development. I'm training to use that small amount of space available, but I'm also training my eyes to watch the other person. Okay. So I start to learn how to watch for greed when he moves his shoulders forward, when he brings his head down. These kinds of things, I start to pay more attention to. All of that, yes. So if you've been to previous workshops, you might remember the strategy of matching the shoulders. Pour ceux qui sont déjà venus à d'autres ateliers, à d'autres stages, vous pouvez vous souvenir de la façon de d'aligner les épaules avec l'autre. Okay. Lung ting wing chun. Ah, it's the vintage. I can tell. Yeah, like wine, right? Lung ting. Okay. So when I touch you here, many people do this hand. You know this one, right? Yeah. Okay. It's called cup sound. Okay. So it comes and he boom steps in. If I'm very short and he's very tall. Many short people get stuck, get caught with this one, a lot, okay? For the same reason, the distance is wrong. And they don't turn when they need to. So, if we're like this and you come in, I match his shoulders. So you see the distance now? If I don't move, I hit. If I move, I have a little bit of space for my arm, you see? If I am here and I am trapped, I cannot drop this hand. Push forward, I cannot drop this hand. If I create a little bit of space here, push forward, I can drop this hand very easily. Okay? So, one is the distance, two is I match the shoulders. Try not to deal with the hands. This is wrong. Don't try to be fast. This is wrong. I watch him when he comes in. I match. See this hand? This one? Hello? And? So you block this one? I don't move, he moves. You see that? Right. Okay, so this is my suggestion for those of you who do chi cell, is to try to be at that range and match the shoulders. Um, so in relationship to uh, to fighting and sparring and, and with outside hands, people who are not doing chi cell, the logic is the same. Don't be in the place where they can hit you. It sounds simple, right? Tous les autres personnes qui font pas cet exercice mais qui en font d'autres, le principe sera toujours le même. Ne soyez pas à la distance où on peut vous frapper. So the ideal position for any martial art, I don't care what martial art you do, is you're in a position where you can reach them, but they cannot reach you. L'idée optimale dans tous les styles qu'on fait, c'est toujours être dans une position où on ne peut pas vous atteindre et où, par contre, on peut mettre un autre. So it starts like this. You extend your arms. <coughs> in Wing Chun, we have what we call eye ruler. So I can see how long his arms are. I can see how long his legs are. I know that I am safe here. Put your 
I'm done. I know that I am safe at this distance. Even the legs, he will have to shift his weight to lift his leg. He cannot kick me at this moment, correct? Okay, let's do a test. I will walk forward and I want you to say stop when you think I can reach you with my hand. Okay, so if I can touch you, you just say stop. No. <laughs> See? Not quite. So this is also training your eyes. Sensitivity is to know when that is. I cannot reach you yet. Now I can reach you. Here? Cannot. See? So this instinct, this sense, is very, very important for Wing Chun. You will get that if you train Chi Sao the way I just suggested. So you have situations like this. Let me see your arm, please. You have situations like this. <clears throat> we are here, and you give me pressure, and I do this. Can you reach me with this hand? No, my arm is in the way. Can you reach me with that hand? No, because your shoulder is back. Do you think I can reach you? <laughs> <laughs> what you see is not what you feel. Right? So this is again, this is the ideal position. I can reach him, he cannot reach me. Make sense? Okay. So this is where this is where we start with uh, you know, when I do hands, let's say you're like a boxer, for example, I don't put myself here. I don't put myself here. I'm already in range. I put myself here. Slightly out of range. You see? I put myself here. You try to punch my face, then I will drop, and now I can reach him. He comes to my range. You understand? This is situation one. Situation two is when I touch and an opening is created. Let's say, for example, I touch you here and you want to pull the hand away. Now I have an opening. I can step even closer. So either, as a Wing Chun guy, I am a little too far for him or a little too close for him. So that he feels uncomfortable. <coughs> so at this distance, if I do this, he's comfortable. Right? Now watch. I combine distance with a shift in his trajectory. What do you feel? Not comfortable. Doesn't look big. Okay, so this is what I want to propose to you guys is to think about uh, in your training and especially when you do Chi Sao and when you do hands. 